with the cast of Grimm. It looks like we're on set. It does. We are at Comic-Con, just letting you guys know we are not on the set of Grimm. We are not in Portland. And the last time we talked to you, you recited Oz for us. Yes, The Wizard of Oz. I made a king out of a slave. How? Courage. What makes a king out of a slave? Courage. What makes the flag on the mast away? Oh, Did you do this on set on the all set of Grimm? Always, always. He, he knows the lyrics to every single song really? ever recorded. Well, I, I just, you know, just like a chorus. I, I don't know the words, and then I mumble through the rest. It's, a, it's impressive. So I know we interviewed you in our studio before. Yeah, fun. We got to have the rest of you guys in here in Bring one it. time. Come on. It's swanky. It's at the Four Seasons, yeah. right? Yeah. Very one swanky. Of the best hotels in the world. Which one of you guys, because you have all these long, long late night shoots, is most likely to sneak off and fall asleep in their trailer? Uh. I think that's you as well. <laughs> well I, get I think it's I get Russell to all of the above. I get tired from singing, and then I have to go and fall and take a nap. Yeah. So, David. Yes. You did a panel. The Tyler Posey was in a panel, and you called him dead sexy. I did several times. You did. <laughs> yeah. Why was that? Do you find him? Well, sexy? one must know their audience, and uh, there were a lot of Tyler Posey fans in there. And uh, j just for clarification, I said Tyler before we get this started. I just wanted to say on behalf of the fans. You are so sexy. <laughs> but uh, the fans loved it, and then I did it again. Which one of you in life is the most observant? And which one of you do you oh, think Oh, that's is... definitely me. Yeah. Oh, oh, really? Really? I'm, so. I'm the least observant. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know half the things that are going on around me. Who's more observant? David's Bit pretty observant. David and Bitsy. Bitsy's very observant. She's very, very observant. There are things that she says that I'm like, whoa, I did say that. Yes, you did say that. Things, yeah, she, she notices a lot. Now, who started on Twitter this whole true Hollywood story thing? That was me. That was me. I did that. Now, what is that about? Uh, I'm self-deprecating, and, and it's fun to really reveal what it's like to live in Hollywood. What is maybe a true Hollywood story? Where you can tell us a story, and we can guess whether or not it's true or not true. Okay, okay. At a urinal, the foreign audition, Big St. Bernard dog mounts me a little bit. <laughs> it's Jim Belushi's. <laughs> yeah. All right, are we guessing who, true or not true? Untrue. Untrue. Silas? It's true. It is true. Yeah. It's he said sorry and good luck. Yeah. I, I have one for you. Oh, yes. Okay, good. I'm doing a commercial. Yeah. Starring Elton John. I'm asked to shave my eyebrows off. And I say yes. And the commercial goes to air, of course, right? And the I'm commercial and the commercial sure does not make it on the air. So then I am left with no money and no one eyebrows. One eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> one eyebrow uh, and no money in my bank account. Good. True or not true? Thank you, Hollywood. I happen to know that that one is true. Yes, it is true. Okay, so there's also royals on the show, and there's a royal baby. Which one of you is the most likely to be into the royal baby and what's going on with I know. Well, is, has it been born yet? I don't think so. It's like any minute, though, right? I know it's any minute. Um, you've the been, royal baby. Yeah, you've been. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you tell? It's been, this is, I, it's been gestating for about eight months, which is like royal, in royal baby months. It needs, like, room to get royal and evil, so. As evil as it, it can possibly be. Okay, and I'm gonna go down the line if you could dress the person beside you up as anything at Comic-Con. Um, are you a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Linda. Linda and yeah. that's a, um, massage. Yeah. Uh, I Be would, gentle. I would dress you up as um, the phone booth from Doctor Who. I just the phone booth from yeah. Doctor Who. Tall, All right. yeah. stately, Absolutely. timeless. And you know, you know I love telecommunication. Um, I, know that. I would uh, dress Reggie Careful. as the little mushroom from the Nintendo, like the Mario Brothers. <laughs> like a little. I'm already right little. There. Yeah, but, but you have so to make sure it's a mushroom. It's a mushroom. It's a fun guy. I think I'd put Russell in that outfit right there. I think it would be fantastic. I think it looks great. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it'd be fun, some fun role play. All right, we're gonna Guys, go. Take a whip. <laughs> we're gonna go change outfits. We're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you.